What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 27, I guess, is today's episode. In the last episode, which was yesterday, um, we continued our way through the Team Rocket hideout here in Goldenrod City. They're trying to take over this uh, the, the radio tower. We wound up taking on Prince Bambi, our rival. Uh, and then we spent about an hour and a half, okay, not quite that long, but we spent quite a while trying to navigate through the stupid puzzle downstairs, which I know how to do, but I was trying to get an item and I couldn't remember how to do it. And I'm looking like Shofu out here, looking like a scrub with these puzzles, but we managed to get through it. So if you missed the last episode and you want to check out on, or if you want to check that out, what are words, you can click at the top right of the screen. You can click the card to go straight to that video. In today's episode, we had a grinding montage, which will be at the end of the video. You can check that out. And actually, it was quite eventful. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, but we're going to completely finish our Goldenrod City encounters. And then we're going to decide what to do from there. Um, most likely, we're going to start heading back in the ice path, depending on how long it takes us to get through this Team Rocket stuff. Uh, that might be it for the day. I really don't know. We're going to figure it out. But if you're excited for more Pokemon Crystal, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And the question of the day will be right below me, right, right down there. Make sure you answer it in the comments below so we can get to talking. And if you enjoy, share this video around and we'll get going. Now, before we started, before we get started, I cannot speak today. Um, a couple things, a couple things. Um, one, I'm working on the next project on the channel, and that's not necessarily going to be filling this series spot. It's not going to take over this series. Uh, but there's another project coming soon, and I need to know what you think about the Pokemon layout that we do here. What do you think about this layout? The webcam, the badges, the question of the day, the Pokemon, where is it? Pokemon down that way, uh, and then the game screen right there. Uh, no, right there. Sorry. Um, so let me know what you think about that. I do want to get some feedback so we can make the next project even better. Every single project has to be better than the one before it. Um, I feel like there's one other thing. No, that's it. That's it. So let's jump into a quick team recap. There was some, there was some stuff. So we're going to go through these guys pretty quick. You know, Sarah, the grass poison type Dragonite. With Strength, Rolling Kick, Dizzy Punch, Octazooka holding the Twisted Spoon with Insane Defense and Great Special Defense. Then we have Uriel, the Ard Ice Normal Mew, holding the Amulet Coin with Flamethrower, Cut, Fire, Blast, Hyper Fang with Great Defense and Great Speed. These two mons are looking wonderful. Then we have Goliath, our Broken Electric Dawn Fan, holding the Amulet Coin with Horn Drill, Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, Surf. Surf is new, I think. I taught it Surf instead of, uh, I, I taught it Surf instead of Counter that it had before. Did that in the grinding montage. Great special defense. Then we have Lattice Loss, our Electric Psychic Houndoom with Pound, Pain, A, Spike Cannon, and Nightmare. Okay stats most places except that special attack. And newest to our team, we have Ezio, the Normal Ice. Ezio, the normal ice type Tangela. Now, Ezio started the grinding montage as a Magnemite. <clears throat> At level 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34, it evolved. I don't remember. It evolved a lot. And you can see it all in the grinding montage. It'll be towards the end. It was the last couple of levels that we did. But you can definitely check that out. There was a Charmeleon in there, and I was so hopeful. I'm pretty sure Charmeleon evolved into this. No, Charmeleon evolved into, like, Pidgey or something. Anyway, you can check that out. But we have Shadow Ball, Rapid Spin, Fly, and Flame Wheel. So Rapid Spin is super broken in this game. Super high defense, great speed, terrible special defense, terrible attack. This thing's probably going to die. Actually, it's probably going to get replaced, if we're being honest. Because, if you remember, right... Here, we already have a normal ice, so it's kind of lame that we have two of those now. But, let's go ahead and jump into what we're doing today. Now, I'm going to let... We let Uriel lead last time. Let's let Lattice last lead. Oh, Lattice last. Alright, let me check on my... Uh, 
Anyway, I'm uh, just checking my audio. So in the last episode, I was complaining about the audio giving me trouble. Yeah, it just, uh, I just needed to unplug and replug because now it sounds great. All right, here we go. No time to spare, no time to spare. All right, Lattice Loss is up front. Boom, let's go. More Team Rocket. So to quickly finish my speak about, I didn't need to grind up as high as I did, but to quickly finish my speak about the next project, I'm actually super excited about it. I think it's gonna, ooh, let's focus for just a moment. A momento. Oh man, I'm playing so many Pokemon games right now. Excuse me. As you saw earlier, it is a nighttime episode. And as you can see right now, it's dark around me. It is definitely a nighttime episode. Um, I think we're okay. Icy wind, that doesn't do anything. All right, cool. Yeah, 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 you can icy, whoa! Don't be doing that, don't be doing that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Let's, um, how about some Goliath up front? I don't remember how many opponents we have left. I don't know how many Team Rocket opponents we have left. Maybe we should have done them all in the last episode. But again, we just want to keep them to about 20 minutes. Executor. I like me some Executor. I actually had to grind up an Executor uh, for shiny hunting. Uh, let's go with Sh Shadow Ball. Not very effective Shadow Ball. How about Sludge Bomb? Not very effective Sludge Bomb. How about Surf? I missed. How about Surf? Not very effective Surf. Just die. I like to go through all my options. I don't want to just use Horn Drill on everybody. Ooh, a Lapras. Uh, so I think this will do it. Oh. Lapras is what I train against when I do grinding right now because there's good like level 23 to 25 Goliath You're gonna wind up dying and I'm gonna be mad Thank you Sent out a Wobbuffet. There's no way I'm hitting that thing. All right, Ezio. Here you go. Make your premiere Let's go Ezio. Oh my god. That was a crit though, so we should be okay. Rapid spin is broken in this game. <laughs> I've said it before. I don't think we're going to completely randomize a game again. Uh, unless, you know, unless y'all like it. If you're watching this video, I'm, I'm asking for so much in the comments today. Question of the day. What do you think about the layout? Should we fully randomize the next game? I don't know. I don't know. Can you hear the garage door under me? Like, it's just a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of questions. That was the longest garage door I've ever heard. Oh my goodness. I apologize for that. I live above three garage doors. So you can imagine what that's like. All right, this guy got a Larvitar. Ooh, a level 40 Larvitar. He's dead. If he would have used counter, I just realized I'm not accounting for counter at all. Oh, cool, we only have two more? <sighs> Cake. Author Kate sent out a Venonat. How about a Sludge Bomb? You can't miss. There we go. There we go. I need a ram. Oh no, don't trap me with your fire spin. Oh no, not fire spin. Ice punch. What the sludge bomb? No. Uh. All right, Ezio, let's go. Ezio, why you get super? Why is everything super effective on you? All right. Uh, he's frozen, so he's out of commission for now. Uh, Sarah, how about you take this last one? Oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio station and announce our comeback. That should bring our boss, Giovanni, back from his solo training. We are going to regain our former glory. I won't allow you to interfere with our plans. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> Alright, bro. Alright, bro. 
Hi, bro. Arthur Webster, if that is your real name. Oh, sent out a Suicune. I didn't realize we were playing for real today. A level 36 Suicune. I just fought a level 40 not too long ago, didn't I? And I just fought it like it was nothing? Confuse Ray. See, wh what you don't know is that there's a couple rules. There's a couple rules. And rule number two says we don't love people. That's not exactly what it says, but hashtag for the kids. Thank you. But Sarah, Sarah don't love people. Sarah don't love these people. Sarah don't love these people. Ooh! Ooh, a level 39. Nice. Oh, God. Why are they confusing me? Don't they know? Okay, slight panic. Slight panic. Um, let's not play around. Sarah is a monster. Sarah is a monster. All right, Uriel, come on. Come on, Uriel. Rock slide. Oh, no, please don't be a fighting type move. Stop. Thank you. That is super effective, of course. Everything's going to be super effective on me. Nah. We don't need no focus energy. We solely do attacks. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up to the task after all. Like Giovanni did before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Oh, ho, oh, Domino, thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. I know it's not much, but please take this. Oh, he gave me a clear bell. Oh. There used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City, but it was old and creaky. So we replaced it with our radio tower. We dug up that bell during construction. I heard that all sorts of Pokemon lived in Goldenrod in the past. Perhaps that bell has some connection to the Tin Tower in Equitique City. Ah, that reminds me. I overheard Team Rocket whispering. Apparently something is going on at the Tin Tower. I have no idea what is happening, but you might look into it. Okay, I better go to my office. Isn't this your office? Whose office is this? Whose office is this? I'm confused. What's this? A PP up, but I have no, I have no uh, items or no place to. <sighs> All right, who has our highest defense? Sarah has one thirty-one, one twenty-two. 84, 63, 117. Dang. Our team is good on defense. Let's skip there. All right, PP up. All right, now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk straight back up. Yeah, this guy. Like, who are you? Ben, do you listen to our music? No. Who are you? Some irrelevant character. Oh, you're my little savior. Will you take this as my thanks? Pick pink bow, item pockets full. I don't want a pink bow. All right. I think that's all we need to do. I don't think we need to talk to anybody to trigger anything else. Team Rocket is done. What time What time are we at? Nah, we can keep going. So here's what we're going to, oh, oh, you know what I'm gonna do right now? Wrong. Deposit, all right. King's Rocks, I'm gonna put those away. Those heal, those heal, those heal. Poison Barb, powers up poison type moves. Okay, I'll put that away for now. Thunderstone, we'll put that away. Ether, we'll put that away. Everstone, we'll put that away. Mystic Water, we'll put that away. Lucky Punch, we'll put that away. Quick Claw, we'll put that away. Water Stone, we'll put that away. Lucky Egg, we'll keep. PP Up, we'll put away. Okay. And then let's run over here, just to the second floor real quick. And I'm gonna sell some of these stupid items, like, like I don't want a gold berry. Wait, what? Five dollars, Jesus. I don't want a smoke ball. I don't want energy powder. All right. Actually, you know what? No, hold on. I don't want these awakenings either. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's head over to the Tin Tower to finish up the day. We're not gonna go all the way through it. Don't worry about that. 
Actually, you might, I don't, I don't know, you might want me to go all the way through it. But instead, we didn't go get an encounter over here. Hello? A momentous event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah, the sound of that clear bell. It's, it's sublime. I've never heard so beautiful a sound before. Oh wait, I'm not doing a monk voice. That bell's chime is indicative of the bare soul. You, you may be able to make it through Tin Tower. Please do go on through. I don't know what. I wasn't prepared to do a voice there. Okay. Lattice Lass. Let's go. Legend has it, uh, legend has it that upon the emergence of a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokemon, a Pokemon will come forth to put that trainer to the test at the Tin Tower. The legend has come true. The legendary Pokemon Suicune has arrived. We, the wise trio, shall test your worthiness to go inside. Oh. I do not remember that at all. It's time to catch some Suicune action. Sent out a Cyndaquil, you tested me? You sent out a Cyndaquil testing me? Testing me? Ah. Hold the spike cannon. It takes forever to come out. It's not very effective. Oh! And of course you have something super effective. Why wouldn't you? Peace. Alright, hold on. What time? <laughs> what time? Okay, so. Could be bug. Could be ground. Could be dark. Okay. Uriel doesn't really care. Yeah, it doesn't affect me. So it's a ghost. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Choose our own cut. You're gone. Porygon 2? How about a flamethrower? It didn't do much. Razor Leaf does too much damage. No! If you... No, no, I will not let Mew die. What is up with Sarah? Why does Sarah do that? Oh my goodness. Ah, so it is you who have cla who claimed to have seen Suicune, Entei, and Raiko while they slept? Unbelievable. Legend has it that they can't be seen while they sleep. Can you be trusted with the truth? I must ascertain your worthiness. I might just give them all the same voice. I'm kind of thinking that. Let's speed it up just a little bit. You got a mill tank. I have a hyper potion. What do you got to say to that? Cross chop? That's a ground type move. That's going to hurt. Didn't hurt too bad though. So we'll go ahead. And, and of course you crit. That's a ground type move. That's a ground type move. Isn't Sarah like... That we're not switching into a ground type move. Isn't, aren't you electric type? We're not switching into a ground type move. Aren't you like just dead weight? Normal ice? Sarah, come on out. Cause it's only neutral effective. And rolling kick is so, so broken. It's so good in this game. Kalalalaister. How about strength? Pedal dance? No. Man, okay, so he's pedal dancing right now. If that crits me, I die. Basically. Okay, it's not doing a lot of damage, so I'm gonna roll and kick. He's gonna hit himself in confusion, he's dead. This is intense! This is super intense, man! In the past, there were two nine-tier towers here. The Brass Tower, which was said to awaken Pokemon, and the Tin Tower, where Pokemon were said to rest. The view from the tower, from the tops of the towers must have been magnificent. At the time, an immense silver-colored Pokemon was said to make its roots, uh, its roost atop the Brass Tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze. And that is how the burn tower came to be.
I'm trying to think of what Pokemon would have done... Like, what Pokemon could have done both of those things? Pokemon lore is like one of the things I super really like. I gotta start doing some videos about that. Just for fun. You got an Eevee. Eevee. This guy sent out an Eevee against me. Baton Pass? Oh, so we're here to play. We're here to play for real. Spike Cannon is not... Pound. Pound. Pound him. Pound him, Lattice Loss. Pound this little Eevee. Pound it. Pound it. I don't know why I'm spam that. Too strong. Why? You. Are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon? I see. We, the wise trio, have given been given the responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokemon. We are to allow passage only to people who possess the power and soul of truth. Please do go on to the tin and enter the tin tower ahead. Suikun will put you to the test. And we are going to do that in the next episode. So today we finished off Team Rocket and Golden Rod City. They didn't have a chance. And then we took on this the wise trio who they were pretty strong. They were pretty strong. Fortunately, we have not lost anybody. It's been a couple episodes. We're not going to start calling ourselves unbeatable because we're right on par. And that's right where we want to be. In the next episode, which will be tomorrow, because this is a Monday through Friday series, uh, we will take on Suicune uh, and see about catching it, whatever it winds up being. And then we'll head over to the Ice Path and make our way towards Blackthorn City. So if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Whatever the question of the day is right below me, make sure you answer that in the comments below. I will respond to everyone that answers it. We can have a whole lot of fun chatting and growing this together. And we will see you tomorrow for more Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.